And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and rock cod Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray. With Rock, with the Rock Cod Rick Max in the Mighty 1090 Studios. And we have the guys from Katmai Lodge in beautiful Alaska, one of the greatest places on earth, Bob and Rob. And joining us on the phone, head, head guy Jeff Top. It's going to be a great show. Talking fishing in Alaska and a lot more. Stay tuned. Southern California Sport Fishing Voices. Let's talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. The new Shimano Torium HG is here, and you'll be able to experience this fantastic reel now at your local Shimano dealer. The new Torium is up to 30% smaller than the previous generation, but still has the same line capacity. The smaller S compact body design and one-piece die-cast aluminum frame provides more rigidity and lighter weight. Torium now has EI surface treatment and is tested up to 700 times the corrosion resistance of past models. The new Shimano Torium HG is not only better on the outside, the inside is amazing with a cross carbon drag providing up to 24 pounds of drag pressure from a star drag reel. It has a sealed roller clutch and 6.2 to 1 brass gears. The machined aluminum handle has a larger knob to make it easy to crank in the big fish. The new lightweight aluminum spool gives you better casting and control. Available in three sizes, the Torium HG is the next evolution in compact, rigid, and powerful saltwater star drag reels. Get it now at your local Shimano dealers. It's time for the spectacular 70th annual Fred Hall Show, March 2nd to the 6th at the Long Beach Convention Center. Presented by Progressive. This is the world's largest fishing show, California's largest boat show, and a world-class international travel and hunting show. Celebrating the passion of fishing, boating, hunting, and outdoor recreation for 70 years. Nearly 1,000 booths, hundreds of boats, over 400 seminars presented by Cousins Tackle. A giant kayak and stand-up paddleboard section. California's largest marine electronics display. The Mammoth Lux Kids Fish Free Trap Pond, Savage Gears Bass Tank, the Accurate Fishing Saltwater Tank, Hobie Kayak Test Drives, Ram Trucks Ultimate Air Dogs, Costa Sporting Chef Cafe, Archery, Scuba, Fly Fishing, Casting, and so much more. Kids Free, Kids Fish Free, Active Military Free. Join us and share in the 70-year legacy of the Fred Hall Show as we celebrate the passion March 2nd through the 6th at the Long Beach Convention Center. Presented by Progressive. Details at FredHall.com. Pete here. I was fortunate enough to use the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 touchscreen chart plotter and sonar unit on my boat this summer and fall. And let me say, it's truly incredible. With an easy-to-use tablet-style interface that's fresh but familiar, the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 combines a multi-touch screen with push-to-select rotary dial for precision control and speedy response. As for marking schools of tuna, yellowtail, and more, it's the best. You run over a school and there they are in full color color and high definition. The new NSS Evo 2 built-in sonar technology including chirp and structure scan can't be beat. I recently added the Simrad AP24 autopilot to my system. I've had other autopilots before, but I can tell you this one is simple, sensitive, and accurate. It integrates with my Simrad NSS Evo 2. I set a waypoint, touch the screen, and the boat steers to that spot. There's a lot more to the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 system and AP24 autopilot that I'd like to tell you, but best, just go to your local Simrad dealer or see simrad-yachting.com for more details. It was another awesome year for fishing in San Diego, and it seems to still be going strong. I've talked to people that continue to get into tuna and yellowtail offshore. It was another awesome year for Ford, too. Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. If the car you're driving is six, seven, eight years old, it's really tough time to get into something new because the technology in these new Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs is nothing short of impressive. You wouldn't want a cell phone with eight-year-old technology, would you? So why keep driving a car with old technology? 
Now's the time to stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer and check out the latest innovations and designs, like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on your new F-150. You just turn a little knob on the dash, and it steers your trailer exactly where you want it to go. Trust me, backing in your boat will never be easier. Learn more at SanDiegoCountyFord.com or just stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer. They'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Boy, what a fun show today, man. Yeah, indeed. It's going to be so much fun and so much excitement uh, in the air with Fred Hall approaching now a week and a half away. How about that, huh? Next Sunday, a week from today, we'll have Bart Hall and John Ireland in the studio uh, talking, fishing, and Fred Hall, and then it's showtime. It's, it is. One I mean, week. Dude. <laughs> One <laughs> week. <laughs> Trust me, I'm well aware of the amount of boxes yeah. we've been packing and product we've been stowing away. It is, it is definitely Fred Hall yeah. time. I can't wait. And some guys that are going to be there, uh, Bob and Rob from Cat My Lodge, and uh, on the line, Jeff Top, head guide for Cat My. Good morning, gentlemen. The boys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. Do good we morning. have you on the line there, Jeff? Hey, Jeff, good morning. Hey, we got you, buddy. It's good to, good to hear from you again. Good to hear you, man. I, I'm telling you, wh- Ricky's never <laughs> been to Cat My, but when you guys purchased the lodge and put a, and then called us up and said, hey, we want to do something with you, uh, I was so excited. Because I love this place. I mean, I've been, I, I think, four times to Katmai, and I, I cannot wait to go back in July because it is truly one of the great Alaskan experiences. It's the truest of true Alaskan yeah. experiences that there is. That's that's how Pete has always described it. That there's always, you know, there's always different things you can do in Alaska. But when you sit there and think about the location and how you get there and all the things, that this is the true Alaskan experience. Yeah. And and so Bob, you're the manager, general manager, yes. general manager. You're also the pilot of the <laughs> yes, the, the the incredible otter that they have yeah, float we have plane, a ten passenger otter, yeah, um, turboprop. Yeah, it's real. You've actually seen it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, flown on it several times. Yeah, yeah it's great. it's pretty incredible. So describe Cat My Lodge in your eyes and your ears and 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 this incredible place. Well, it's a it's a uh, the lodge itself is probably one of the better lodges on the Alagnat River, and it's in the Bristol Bay area. Um, we uh, have uh, plenty of rooms. We have usually about uh, thirty-five to forty pa- uh, people on the. Uh, that come to the lodge, and we have a great time with them. Yeah, and you've upgraded the rooms, you've upgraded the food at the lodge, and the and the experience is upgraded because the lodge used to take 50-plus people. Now you limit it to 30 That's something. correct. That's yeah. correct. Yeah, very, very nice. And that's there's a lot of room for 30 people there. Absolutely. How many boats do you have on the Alagnac? We usually have about uh, 20 to 28 boats uh, sitting there uh, ready for uh, for anglers. Yeah. And, and and Rob, what's your favorite experience up there at Katmai? What what kind of things do you like to do? Um, well, the best thing that I that I see at the lodge is, is the experience is the experience from the Wounded Warrior project. Oh, cool. To senior angler to the female angler, to the most experienced angler. It's all there for everybody to take, take advantage of. And Robert and, Robert and Robin Fullman, they, re- they really concentrate on the atmosphere and, you know, the experience that you have. And all those people can have the, uh, just a killer experience and catch a lot of fish. Yeah. You mentioned women fishing. My wife, Lolly, this is her favorite place to go fishing. <laughs> she will not let me go to Cat My Lodge without her. I can guarantee you that because yeah. she just loves this place. And, and that and Jeff, you you guide all these people. The ladies love it there, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and one of the things that, that Robert and, and that whole crew over there, Bob and Robin and all them have done is is really tried to focus on on some different stuff other than just the the, the boy the boys trip, you know. There's a lot of families that come up now, a lot more families than have ever been up there. I've, I've been through this will be the third owner for me, and and I think where the focus is right now at Katmai is, is, is perfect. I mean, we're, we're trying to get a lot of families, a lot of couples, you know, and make it a nice place for everybody where everybody's got a little something to do. In, indeed. That, that's what's cool. So, you know, you, you look at Katmai and you look at the uh, 
experiences that people have, and you see a lot of fly rods up there. And certainly fly fishing is great, but that's not the only way you can fish at Katmai, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we we are an all tackle lodge. Uh, you know, I've got my own uh, my own thing going back in Michigan here, and I'm an all tackle guide as well. And and you know, there isn't any sense in in, in in saying, well, we can only fly fish up there when when we do a lot of family stuff and a lot of uh, you know novice angler stuff. And and you know, by the time they leave, they only may be an accomplished fly caster. But you know, we're, we're, there's no sense in us making them do what they don't know just because we we like to fly fish you know i mean the fishing's fun no matter how you go about it so that's kind of the idea so when you when you what kind of fish are you targeting okay let's take an example the seasons vary our trip is um mid-july this year sold out pretty quickly and pretty amazing uh pretty awesome yeah pretty awesome uh what are we going to target what 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 are our options well, you'll have you'll have your king salmon in the river then. You'll have your sockeye salmon in the river then, and you also have your chums should be just starting. And you always got you know we have one of the most amazing uh, rainbow trout and grayling fisheries in the world. You know, and those are always there, no matter when you come to the lodge. There's always fish to be caught. Yeah, sure. and I would say I'm sure the the salmon is the highlight fish. But every time when Jeff calls the show or we get reports from the boys talking about the trout fish, and that's what always blows me away that the the size of trout and the way that you're able to get the patterns that you use to catch this thing, it, that's what floors me more than anything else. Yeah. I know the king salmon is like the jewel fish to be caught, but the trout fishery that they have at Katmai, that, that's what I hear, and it's, just, it's jaw-dropping all the time. Yeah, and and that what Bob, Bob and Rob and I are talking before the show about how a lot of people come up to catch salmon. And, that's but correct, yes. The, 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 the trout fishing, <laughs> right. this is not, you know, your local little six-inch trout, let me tell you. You <laughs> hook into, I mean, I've, I've caught 28, 29-inch native rainbow trout. That's a legal sea bass. And, 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 yeah. yeah. Think right. about that. And, exactly. and these things pull, they jump out of the water, they're running, and then the environment that you catch them. Yeah, in. Totally. Jeff, kind of describe that. That's, that's what's so cool. Well, you know, our salmon fishery downriver is, you know, tidewater stuff, but then when we go up we go up river to our trout fishery, you know, it, our, our river braids out into a bunch of braids, and it turns into almost looking like a western trout stream, you know, gravel bottom, riffle run type river, um, unique with the smaller the smaller channels. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're in the wild. I mean, you're fishing with the bears. You see moose and you see eagles every day, and, and it's a real kind of, uh, it's quite a bit smaller feel to it because of the creeks and then you know we catch them on top water we catch them with sunk flies and spinners and everything and it, it's it's a you could put somebody in the plane down in our lower river fly them to the upper river they'd swear it was an entirely different drainage wow yeah that's it's cool. a totally different. i mean it's so unique i mean i've fished a lot of places in my life and i've been a full-time fishing guide for over 20 years now and there's no river i've ever fished that's as unique as the alagnac it, it is and people like you say people fly in from other lodges to fish the Alagnac, and Cat My Lodge is on the Alagnac. <laughs> you walk out the front door of your room, you walk down to the dock, you get on a boat, and you're on the Alagnac. Right there. Right there. That's so cool. that, and that's <laughs> what's one of the cool. unique things. Yeah. Yeah. So, and absolutely, Pete. You know, and, and the thing is, with some of these fly-out lodges, if we get weather, we go to our river and fish. If we get if they get weather on these fly out only lodges, they, some of them don't fish or can't fish till noon. And, and and regardless of whether we're flying out or we're hitting the river, we've always got somewhere to go. Yeah, that's a really indeed. good point. And it's also nice to know that if it is a bad weather day, you can just wait till tomorrow till the weather clears and then do your fly outs. Yeah, have that option having the airplane at the facility. And the fly outs are another thing not to be missed. And not only for the fishing, the time of the year that we're going to be there. You have Brooks Falls and other places, which all the pictures in National Geographic that you see of bears grabbing salmon out of the river, uh -huh. that's Brooks Falls. Oh, no Brooks Falls. Really? That yes. is Brooks Falls. I've been there. It's like, <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's like, wait a minute, I've seen this in pictures in National Geographic a bunch of times. Yeah, we've also had a few of our clients this last year go to, uh, it's a little stream just north of, uh, actually northwest of, Brooks Falls, which is Margo, and then we take them on a tour through uh, the 10,000 Smokes and then stop at Brooks Falls for lunch to see the bears. 10,000 Smokes, is that a bunch of guys sitting around smoking cigarettes? <laughs> no. no, it's a bunch of volcanic uh, mountain range that huh? is a whole canyon that had a, 
this old volcanic rock that is spewed through the uh, canyon. It's just a spectacular sight yeah. to see with the glaciers on top of it. Here's the other thing about Cat Lodge. <laughs> I, I keep telling you, you look at a price of a fly-out lodge. You're looking for a four-day trip, seven grand, something like that. Right. That's yeah. correct. Seven thousand dollars for a four-day trip to a fly-out lodge. Our Katmai Lodge trip this year, and you've held the price for 2017 too, thirty-nine ninety-five. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, and that's from King Salmon. So you can get use your miles uh, on Alaska, get to King Salmon on miles. You can fly to Anchorage uh, and then hop to King Salmon, or uh, our groups are usually big enough that they charter a flight and fly directly into the runway right at Katmai. Right? That's correct. Cool. We have a 5,000-foot runway uh, at the lodge itself. Yeah, which is a trip in itself. <laughs> the only lodge, the remote, only remote lodge in Alaska that does that. Yeah. So how do you guys do that? Yeah, seriously. How, how do you keep that price so that people can afford to go? I mean, granted, $4,000 is not a cheap ticket, but for an Alaska an remote lodge, an it's about half price. Right. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys do that? Just running it as efficiently as we can. Yeah. And um, obviously, you know, we want to run some specials for the Let's Talk Hook Up folks and, um, and you know, have that group come up and uh, have them experience this place. Yeah. The, and that's the thing is that this is a special price. Your normal price is a 40. Yeah, 58.50 for, 58 50 for a week. 58.50 yeah. for a week. So for seven our, days. Yeah, for a seven-day seven trip. trip. Uh, um our package is four days. You're going to get correct. four to four and a half days That's of fishing correct. in four in a four day trip. That's correct. Because when you get there, you're going to get a half day. Yeah, you're fi- you're fishing the first day you get there. Get there, have lunch. You're going fishing. Wow. Usually the yeah. flight leaves Anchorage uh, when you come directly into the lodge about eight eight thirty. Gets you there about nine thirty quarter to ten. You get your fishing licenses. That's all included in the price. You get your room set up. You're having lunch at noon. And then you're out usually by one o'clock. Wow, that sounds so rad. It's a pretty, it's a pretty so rad cool. experience, awesome. and, and you get to take fish home too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we have our own uh, vacuum sealer uh, processing plant, just like you see down there in San Diego. Um, they'll go ahead and we'll pack it, we'll box it, we'll flash freeze it, and we got a 10 degree below zero freezer. We stick it in there; it's rock solid. It easily gets you home all the way home, and the fish aren't. Uh, thought out by then well pretty awesome now here's a big announcement it's a big announcement our let's talk hook up san diego county four dealers uh <laughs> uh are come the live remotes are coming up sure. starting in may start at encinitas ford with uh, mr mark wheeler and encinitas ford and then do our uh, usual routine with four different san diego county ford dealer live remotes uh and our casting contest, our Shimano casting contest, and, of course, the random draw. We're going to play the same deal as we did last time, two qualifiers for each event. So and can... we'll be posting that uh, uh, real soon, the dates and, and the times and et cetera. Better get on it because guys keep coming by the shop wanting to know when the schedule know is and what the day is. Yeah. So here's the big deal. The grand prize this year. Trip to Cat Marla. <laughs> How cool is that? For our really? yeah. Unbelievable. For our 2017 trip and uh yeah that is awesome absolutely awesome details to follow on that but uh we want to thank you guys for doing that it's going to be a pretty awesome adventure for one lucky person the grandest of grand prizes we've ever given away Uh, i would say right there yeah for sure yeah Yeah, that's awesome no doubt for sure well as you can hear we have a great show lined up for you today we've got the top guide jeff top Get it? I've got my lodge, and and also uh, uh, the guys who run the show and fly the plane and do the whole thing at Cat My Lodge here today. Yeah, it's going to be a really fun show, something very unique. And like you said, just I, I mean, I, I just encourage everybody to hop on the website. You look at the pictures that are on there; it's just it's incredible, breathtaking. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of very cool information, lots of great stuff to talk about today with all the great fishing going on down below. Excellent yellowtail fishing. We'll hear more about that in the show. Lots of great stuff coming up. If you want to join us, we would love to hear from you this morning. Be a part of Let's Talk. Hook up, and there's two ways you can reach us right now this morning. First is our local line, and that's 858 area code 457 1090. Again, 858 457 1090. 
1090. It's open right now. Or you can try us on our toll-free number. That one is 877-792-1090. One more time, 877-792-1090. There is one toll-free line open, but two of the uh, the local lines. That's what I'd call right now, 858-457-1090. Not only going to be talking fishing, talking Cat My Lodge, we've also got an awesome prize for one lucky caller at the end of the show today, and that's a pair of tickets, two tickets to come join us at the Fred Hall Fishing Tackle and Boat Show in Long Beach. Coming up, man, I can't believe it, just a couple weeks away. Fred Hall Long Beach, two tickets as well as two tickets to go fishing on the Daily Double. Half-day trip out of Point Loma Sport Fishing. Really cool tickets. It includes all the tackle rental if you need it or you want to bring a buddy that doesn't have gear. You're going to get your tackle. You're going to go half-day fishing and you're going to get to come check out the Long Beach show on us. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Tons of great information coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero was awarded the Certificate of Excellence from TripAdvisor for four straight years. Especially interesting, most hotels are just hotels. and Most people stay in the hotel and go do their activities elsewhere. Rancho Leonero, of course, provides fishing, diving, all activities, all meals, your whole vacation. So the fact that we're so highly rated, we're very proud of it. From picking you up at the airport to dropping you off, literally everything is a turnkey from there. We make it as easy as we can for you at the ranch. From your meals to whether you're going to go fishing or diving or just hang out by the pool. When you're coming to Ranch Line Air, you are coming to John Ireland's home. I guarantee the best fishing vacation experience in all of Baja. It's unique. There's nowhere that I could think of to get the same experience that you get at Rancho Leonero. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252, 646-Baja, and RanchoLeonero.com. It's really unique. It is. We're very proud of it. Brace yourself for the next generation of Yamaha V6 Offshore Four Strokes. They're lighter, faster, stronger, smarter, and they're innovation award winners. These intimidating V6, 300, 250, and 225 horsepower Predators are engineered to be offshore tough. Still, Yamaha's lightweight design makes these outboards up to 73 pounds lighter than 300 horsepower competitors. They're also faster and smarter than their peers, up to 19% faster and up to 17% more fuel efficient at cruise RPM. Add all that to a powerful class-leading 4.2 liters of big bore V6 displacement and you have a definite competitive advantage. And now, these offboards are available with the advanced precision of Helmmaster, Yamaha's fully integrated boat control system. Power, precision, efficiency, reliability, the next generation of Yamaha V6 offshore four-strokes. They're miles ahead of the competition, and they're at a dealer near you. Meet them today at your local Yamaha dealer. Helmmaster available with V6s purchased only as part of new boat packages from Boat Builder Partners. It's Fred Hall Showtime. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. The best selection of saltwater tackle at the show, including state-of-the-art CalStar rods. The hottest deals and the best selection ever on CalStar rods. Come see it at Fisherman's Landing Tackle, a must-visit at this year's Fred Hall Show. Have you ever imagined casting a fly or a lure on one of the most beautiful and productive rivers in Alaska? At Katmai Lodge, you can catch up to all five species of Pacific salmon. The king, sockeye, chum, pink, and silver salmon, along with rainbow trout, arctic grayling, dolly varden, and other native stream fish. When anglers dream of trophy salmon and trout, the Alagnac River is their destination, and Katmai Lodge is the premier base camp. Being the original river-based lodge on the Alagnac gives the facility a leg up on the competition. Both experienced and novice anglers have rated Katmai Lodge and its knowledgeable guides as the best of the best. Katmai Lodge is remote, yet offers all the amenities of a first-class lodge. During your Alaska visit, you'll see amazing wildlife, brown bears, caribou, eagles, moose, otters, and much more. Schedule a day trip on their private de Havilland Otter Float Plane and visit the world-famous Brooks Falls. Book online at katmai.com or call 1-800-330-0326. That's katmai.com or call 1-800-330-0326 for the fishing adventure of a lifetime. 
When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Well, you must have a couple of pretty popular guys here because just about every single phone line packed up during the break except one. There's literally one line open. If you want to get through, talk to the boys from Katmai, 858 area code 457-1090. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the phones. Jeff Top is on the line. Where are you, by the way, right now, Jeff? I am in uh, Buena Gorda, Florida. Okay. Uh, in Charlotte Harbor for all oh, three weeks, probably now. Very nice, very nice. And then uh, when do you head up to uh, Alaska? Well, I'll go about the first of June. I'll see you. I'll be heading over your way there to the Fred Hall show and uh, to both of them this year. So we can catch. I'll catch up with you then. Oh, but cool. I leave for Katmai about June first, and uh, you know we start rolling up there pretty quickly after. Yeah, indeed. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into those phones, Rick. You got it. Well, they're definitely jam-packed. Why don't we start it off this morning with Don. He's calling us from Woodland Hills this morning. Don, good morning. Welcome. Thanks for getting us started here on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Um, my question is, for a first-timer that's never been to Alaska, what are some of the things that you need to take into consideration in planning a trip to your lodge? Good question. Yeah, well, for the first-timers, um you know, mainly all you have to bring is uh, your layered clothing. They're going to take care of everything from your boots to your your waders to your tackle to your your terminal tackle. They take Rain care jackets, of everything. Really? everything. Yeah, they 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 have they have, they have all that. Um, you just need your sunscreen, your layered clothing, and then they're going to take it from there. And um, they're going to the weather changes in Alaska. Absolutely, it, it could does, be really. beautiful. Yeah, it does. <laughs> if you don't like the weather, you have to layer up. <laughs> yeah, you layer yeah. up and have it available okay. to you. Yeah. during those seasons. But you, yeah, but you really don't have to bring anything besides you know your your layered clothing that you bring and some uh, sunscreen, a uh, little bit of a bug repellent, a hat, and that's about it. And then you're having fun and you're fishing. I know. Pete, you mentioned it uh, earlier there about uh, I know that a lot of people first time maybe are are hesitant or standoffish on trying fly fishing. Is there conventional gear available also? Is that something a guy would want to bring if he was you know, maybe concerned about the fly? Hey Jeff, we have, uh, go ahead. We have we have all of it. We have all the all the uh, uh, spit and level line fly rods. We we provide everything. When when Rob was saying you know literally you can come up with just your long underwear, he's not kidding. Everything we we have everything at the lodge. For, for our clients to use, short of, you know, your fleece and your rain jacket, really. I mean, and we sell everything in the gift shop if you happen to forget something. Um, you know, it's a full-service gift shop with all the, all the rain gear and all the fleece and, you know, and, uh, you know sunscreen and everything else you might need. And, but, you know, really, uh, you know, we do everything we can as far as the tackle goes to make sure that you all don't have to fly with it if you don't want to. That's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I, um, I might add, you know, a, a, one of the great experiences about Katmai is the being in the wilderness and being among uh, moose and eagles and otters and Bear. bears. People get intimidated about bears. How do how do you comment about that? You're talking about my dad, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically, yeah. Okay, talking let's about talk dad. about <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the cod fire. Yeah, and 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 fishing in the river with a uh, you know thousand pound grizzly bear standing right next to you. Jeff, well, I'm looking you forward know, it's to it's one of those things, you know, it's, it, it, this is, I guess, the best way to explain it as far as it goes for me. And, 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 you know, from a, from a guide standpoint, you know, we see them every, you know, we see bears almost every day, but I, I look at it like this. If, you know, you, you have to be scared of grizzly bears or you're not a human being. I mean, they're, they're, they're the, they're the, you know, you're no longer number one on the food chain anymore. <laughs> the biggest in the bad. get up there, but, you know, the thing with that is too, is that if, if those bears actually wanted anything to do with people, we we wouldn't be able to fish there. They wouldn't let us. You know, it's I wouldn't. You know, I I would never feel like I'm not safe around them. They don't want anything to do with you. They're beautiful to watch, great to photograph. They're amazing animals just to watch the way they act. They all have different personalities, and 
but none of them really, you know, they're not hunting us by any means. They just want salmon like we do. You Your know? mom hasn't taught them how to hunt the humans. They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're <laughs> right, right. to eat thing. fish. They yeah. eat fish and eat plenty of it. But But to be in nature among one of the greatest creatures on earth like that and be up close and personal with them i'm telling you it's yeah. it's one of the life's great experiences doing that and tough and to get, explain it, it's, sure. it's, it's hard sure to it explain is. because it's such a cool thing i got a great cat my story for you so i was up there i forget the guy's name it's a great guy I'd fished with him several times up there at cat my and um my wife and i were on the river on the alagnac fishing uh mouse patterns which i'll let jeff explain later uh for giant trout and so I was uh, I was sight fishing for this huge trout in this little pool, and um, Lolly was who was a little intimidated by the bears uh, <laughs> had the guide very close to her, and I kind of wandered off and went into this pool. And the guide says to Lolly, he says, "Wait a minute, I'll, I'll be right back." She goes, "Oh no no no, wait." She goes, well, "I gotta go help Pete." So he comes over to me and he says, um, "Pete, let's walk over here." And I go, "Well, why? There's a big trout right there." I want to catch goes, this thing. He goes, "Well, look up." And look in that bush right there. And I mean 10 feet no from way. me was a bear right there looking at the same fish I was looking at, right? And I bought the same fish. So I was like, oh, okay, let's yeah, just walk in. over yeah. here. The, the bear had no interest in me. Yeah. He was eyeballing that fish just like I was. So but the, the point of that story is the guides are so on it. Right. And they're watching all the time. They're your safety net right there, right, absolutely. Jeff? Absolutely. Yeah, man, absolutely so. I mean... You're focused on doing what what you're there to do, and that's go fishing and enjoy all the rest of it. And you know, we just we just we're standing by your side the whole day, and you know, we, we keep our eye out, you know, because you you can't hear them. No, they can slip through the alders, and you won't hear them. But you just keep looking around, and you know, they're not, you know, they're they're just. They're just sitting on the riverbank just like we are, you know. You just you just don't want to walk up on them. That's the whole idea. Yeah, for sure. But that's a great memory. And, uh, Don, thanks for getting us started. Very thanks cool. a lot for the call this morning. All right. Hey, with that, let's find out what's going on down south. We're going to the spot. Rancho Leonero and John Ireland is on the line this morning. Morning, John. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Pete. Yes. John? Well, I... I... One good thing about Baja, we don't run into any bears along. <laughs> no bears. <laughs> no bears. <laughs> wow, thankfully. Thankfully, they're beautiful. I've been up there, and they don't bug you. That's that's very true. And they're part of the they're part of the adventure when you go up north in Alaska, for sure. That's cool. um, anyway, we're having enjoying beautiful weather down here. The wind's finally broken, and uh, we had quite a windy winter, as everybody knows. And but the last week I've been down here, and it's just been beautiful. Water temp's still 74. It's clear and clean and blue. Um, uh, we went out the other day, and, and uh, managed to uh, catch a couple of yellowtail. It's a little slower than it was last week. They were just wide. The yellowtail fishing was wide open and the bill fishing as well. This week's kind of slowed down a little bit. But part of it is the fact that there's probably maybe one or two boats a day going out in the area. Our, our season really starts in another week or so. Beautiful weather. Something I might mention is uh, I, I heard that Mark Ray are talking about uh, Breeze and Wahoo and uh, I was down yesterday uh, down in front. We're redoing the uh, hotel swimming pool, and I was looking over the end and and right up, running across the reef. There were three nice wild. Oh, oh no man. way! How cool is that, John? It's maybe yeah. It's February. Maybe about five feet of water, or something like that. Re- in real close, you know, just breezing along. Pretty good sized fish too. So that's so, so rare. We'll have a wahoo year. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, John. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, lots of Sierra in the morning as usual, and uh, and we're just getting going though, with the with the clean water and the no wind and all that. It's, I'm looking outside. It's another beautiful day today. So. We're looking forward to seeing you guys next week, by the way. Joe. Indeed. One week from the day, the annual event uh, with Bart Hall uh, live at the Long Beach Convention Center and John Ireland here in the studio with us, the pre-Fred Hall extravaganza one week from today. We're looking forward to that, John. It's showtime. It's showtime. <laughs> and if we want to book a well trip said. to Rancho Leonero, of course, you can do that at the Rancho Leonero booth, which is right behind the Let's Talk Hookup booth, or you can call or email, or, right? Yeah. Or email 800-334-2252 or RanchoLaneMail.com. All right. Thanks, John. We'll see you in the studio next Sunday. Really looking forward to it, guys. Yeah, yeah John. Too. Thanks a lot. All right. Hey, while we were in, uh, talking to John there, a line popped open, 877-792-1090. It's been a busy morning. There's your chance to get through to talk to the guys from Katmai. So let's go ahead and jump into it, Rick. You got it. How about this time we talked to Dan, and he's calling us from San Diego this morning. Hi, Dan. Thanks for joining us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Pete, Rick, Bob, and Rob. How you guys doing? Good. How you doing? How you doing? 
Good. So I'm interested in uh, cat my lodge. It sounds great. I'm just wondering when's the earliest time people can come up. Well, this year uh, we we depends on our bookings, and and right now uh, the, the last week of June, the first week of July is is open. Um, but from then we can normally, depending on what type of fish you want to catch, um, depends on when you want to come up. So, so you, the lodge opens when? The, the, basically, the lodge will open in the middle of June. Middle of June. Okay. Middle of June for the trout season. Now, depending on our bookings and the anglers, that all varies on how we actually open the lodge. Yeah. So year to year it changes. Okay. Yeah, so if we don't have any customers, obviously we're not we're not going to be open. Okay. So, um, but but you can come up mid June. That's Absolutely. kind of the trophy trout season. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. And then you close at the end of August. Yeah, end of August, first of September, first week of September. Yeah. Unless we want to have some trophy trout fishermen at the end of September uh-huh. uh, to come in, and we'll keep it open. So yeah. now you said it, you know it depends on the type of fish you get. What what would those fish be? You know what are like the highlight species, and then what are the maybe optimum times for those? Um, Jeff, what would you say? Well. Uh, the first Saturday in, in June, the trout season opens, and if you're a, a trout bum and really want to just concentrate on the trout and grayling, uh, the, the probably the, the last week or the second to the last week of June. And you know, it, it, but that when I say that, that's if you just kind of only want to catch trout. Now, starting starting like you know the first first of July, you know you know it's a migration, and all we start to get the kings like the last week of June, we get kings. And then all of July, and then and then we we may have some sockeye uh, last week of June, but for sure the first couple weeks of July, uh, chums are all through uh, mid to late July and all of August. Our king salmon fishing closes at the end of July, the last day by law is the last day we can fish for them. And then August is you know our chums, our pinks, and our silver salmon fishing for that entire month. And this now when I say that trout happens all year round up there. And then September, as those fish sort of go away, we got some silver salmon fish in early September, and then the rest of the month we have um, what is considered the trophy trout season when all these trout are so fat on eggs and all the protein they've been eating for the last six weeks. You know, fat bellies, strong fish. Um, it's kind of that would be what I would say would be the mecca for the trout guy. But September yeah. wouldn't be the mecca for the salmon guy. And don't don't forget too uh, the Dolly Varden, Jeff. Tell them about. Oh that. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So oh, yeah, we've dolly. got a good Dolly fishery up there. We got a river that's super chuck full of them, and our and our river gets them. Uh, you know, in August and September, our river will have them too. So. Okay. Well, Thank you so much. What a yeah. cool deal. Yeah, yeah it, that's just that's awesome. awesome. The bottom line is, no matter when you come, there's going to be something really good to fish and an, and a, and a phenomenal experience. That's I can't cool wait. Yeah. That's cool. All right, good check luck, it out. Dan. You know, Thank I you. might add too that uh, you guys are offering that discount only to our listeners during our trip. So right. if you correct. want to take advantage of that uh, either this year. There's a couple of a couple of spots this year that you're offering extending the discount, but next year in 2017 during our trip, which yeah, this year we have a July 23rd, the week of July 23rd. The week of July 30th and the, the August 27th, we're uh, having that 15% discount wow. for this year. Those are all good dates. Yes, right. Yeah. All right. Jeff, describe the mouse yes, fishery. Yes, waiting for this. This is like one of the greatest things one I've ever seen. One of my favorite seen. things. You like yeah. it too, huh? And and that late June, absolutely. early July is the prime time, right? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we pretty, pretty much you, when we fish the early season up there, you know, and, and it's just the trout fishing. I usually will start my day with my clients, both with mice on, and there's a lot of days when they never come off to put a wet fly on. You know, and 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 to, to explain the mouse in a little bit is it's it's a dry fly that skates on the surface. You cast it across the stream and just let the current swing it. You know, across the run, and it gurgles and bubbles and makes a racket on the surface. And these trout will come 20, 30 feet for it and hit it like a freight train. Yeah. You know, I know you all do some ocean fishing down there. I don't know a lot about it, but, I mean, it's got to be the equivalent of when you see those pods of fish crushing bait out there. You know, you'll get two or three rainbows in the springtime fighting over your same mouse, almost like a smallmouth bass tries to take the lure from the other one. You know, it's it's unbelievable how aggressive these fish get. They're just coming off the spawn. They're They're super hungry. They're putting their... They're they're putting a the feed bag back on and they're eating anything in sight and the biggest meal is a mouse. Yeah, That's and, and these I mean these are like great. like full size mice, right. you know. So it's like kind of like surface iron. Exactly. Fishing. That's what I'm because it's a total visual. Almost. 
pop, oh, like a pop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And, and and it's, I mean, there's nothing like it. You see, and they're big. These fish that want this big meal, they're a big, it's a big fish. And what's the biggest trout you've ever caught on the Alagnac? You know, everybody talks about this famed 30-inch trophy trout. And and another guide and I were talking about it just the other day who also works at Katmai. And, and we were both saying, like, we feel like we're both jinxed because him and I both caught two or three trout that were between 29 and a half and 29 and three quarters. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So we can't, we can't break the 30-inch mark. Now, I've seen guys catch them, but I'm talking about me personally. My biggest one would be just a hair under 30 inches. But, you know, a lot of those bigger trout that people have hooked, you know, we get them up there. I mean, I've seen them as big as 34. Oh, my Whoa. God. And, and that's a monster. But, you know, a lot of them bigger fish, you just don't get to get them. They just take off with your with your yeah. lure and you get to see them. they're just gone. Yeah. You know, and you, they just break you, you right off. They're you so hook strong, them and you never see so them. aggressive. And our water up there, I wouldn't call it fast, but it's certainly not a pond. You know what I mean? And and when they're that big, it takes every ounce. Everything's got to go just right for you. Yeah. yeah. No doubt about it. I caught a giant one a couple years back on a mouse. That one was scaring the heck out of 30 inches. Uh, Absolutely. I, I, I would say it's real close. Yeah. If you look at catmy.com, which is your website, catmy.com, you'll see pictures of these fish. These are these are not your uh, – and these are native trophy trout. These are not like planter fish that like were raised in a hatchery or anything <laughs> yeah, like that. This is like no this hatchery fish. up there. These fish live <laughs> Real and bred and live their – they're like the only thing that could even be close would be steelhead, right? They're very similar to a steelhead. That's yeah. that's what I do when I'm not a cat my guide steelhead and salmon in Michigan and and our rainbows up there would give our steelhead a pretty good a pretty good showing, you know. They're they're so you know, cool. they're just wild you know, you, you, they gotta live in Alaska year round. I mean, they're strong, fat, wild, giant rainbows. So they're strong. Yeah. You know, I, I've caught a lot of rainbows down in the lower 48, and I promise you, inch for inch, the ones in Alaska pull the tail right off them. That's yeah, rad. no doubt. <laughs> they're amazing <laughs> fish, so strong. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a whole lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls. We're gonna check in with the catch reports, find out what's biting up and down the beach. You stay tuned. Lots more fun to come. It's Let's Talk hookup on the mighty 1090. <laughs> The Fred Hall Shows are the best place to buy your next boat, and Inland Boat Center will be there ready to put you into the right boat. They've been around 35 years and have something for everyone. Inland Boat Center will have the perfect saltwater fishing boats made by Arima and Defiance. If you purchase a boat during the Fred Hall Show, there will be factory incentives. In fact, all new Defiance and Arima boats are eligible for a free electronics package, as well as Defiance and Arima dollars to put towards the purchase of any Defiance or Arima. Please see sales personnel for details. Inland Boat Center will have the most popular fishing models on display and factory representatives to help answer all your questions. So time to trade in that old boat and get the Defiance or Arima boat you really want at the Super Fred Hall Show deal from Inland Boat Center, 681 East San Jacinto in Paris. Check InlandBoatCenter.com and see them at the Fred Hall Shows. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 55 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built for ultimate performance on the water. From our next generation fishing shorts like the Tactical Camo or Stealth Shorts to our AFBlock sun protection shirts like the Fish Ninja and Samurai Sun Hoodie, the entire AFCO clothing lineup is purpose built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and designed with functional features to deliver top performance for the demanding angler. Visit www.afco.com to find a dealer near you. Time to talk about great gear from Shimano, and I'll tell you what, when we're talking fishing either on freshwater or saltwater, throwing poppers or throwing uh, mice, <laughs> the Shimano lineup of spinning reels, there's nothing like it. Yeah, it's come a long way. I mean, the technology is just getting crazy. On the saltwater side, newish, and you've got those twin powers, which is a reel that now all of a sudden is affordable. It's a similar cost to any high-end conventional reel, but you have... Most all of the killer features you would see in reels that are well over a thousand dollars at literally half the price, down to the smaller end reels like that new Stratic CI4 Plus. The thing is unbelievable. It weighs nothing. Carbon fiber technology. The reels are so smooth and at a budget that all of us can afford. It's an amazing reel that CI4 Plus, and it's available in multitude of sizes, from a freshwater size all the way up to something you could get a powerful saltwater. Absolutely. Fish on. Yeah. So check it out. The Shimano lineup of spinning reels at your local tackle store. Check out Shimano.com. 
It's Fred Hall Show time. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth, the best selection of saltwater tackle at the show, including state-of-the-art CalStar rods, the hottest deals and the best selection ever on CalStar rods, like the Graphiter, Graphite Glass, West Coast, Rail Rods, Jig Sticks, and more. CalStar has always been and remains the trendsetter in rods for the way we fish. Fisherman's Landing Tackle has the staff that has used the rods and knows your needs. Come see it at Fisherman's Landing Tackle, a must-visit at this year's Fred Hall Show. Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all run by fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quivera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at seaforthlanding.com. XSRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. Oh, right. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. As promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. It is time for the Catch Report, which today is sponsored by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. With long-range season upon us, it's time to pre-book those processing orders before your trip. That way you're the first in line when your trip returns. You can friend them on Facebook at Fisherman's Processing or check Fisherman'sProcessing.com for more details. And if you did friend them on Facebook, uh, Friend them on Facebook. You see those pictures, those guys. Uh, I know Rosie put up yesterday of them bagging all the samples of the great tuna jerky to bring up to the Fred Hall show. Oh, yeah, it was saw piles it. and piles of tuna jerky oh, ready to yeah. get handed out to everybody at Fred Hall. Watch so. for them at Fred Hall and go up there and uh, sample some of their incredible products. That'll be one of the stops I make for sure. You, you <laughs> both, hey, well, let's head on up to Dana Wars Sport Fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing today? Doing great. great. Good morning. Good, good. Hey, you know, this past week is, uh, again, it's real similar to the last few weeks we've had up here at Dana Wharf. You know, a few factors kind of came into play this week that, uh, you know, kind of perked up the bass fishing. First of all, you know, we had some better water temps this week. Some of the surface temps a couple days was just just at 62 degrees for us up here. And we had a little bit of downhill current a couple days, and that kind of helped, uh, helped with the water condition there for sure. Also, we had some real nice anchovy for bait, so that had the bass up and on the surface real good along the kelp edges there for us uh, also. And uh, that huge mass of red crab that I've been talking about the last couple weeks with that current and whatnot, that stuff finally spun out off the beach and is more out in the 50, 60 fathom range. So it kind of got the fish a little bit more uh, keyed in on that fin bait that we had uh, to throw at them this week too. So that certainly helped with uh, the stuff uh, fishing close to the harbor. The three-quarter day, you know, we're still targeting that sculpin in the mornings on the anchor. And then, uh, you know, kind of when we've gotten the job done on that, we've been able to slip in along the edge of the kelp down there off Camp Pendleton, somewhere Yelto kelp, barn kelp, and then uh, get that anchovy over the side and into the kelp there and, uh, you know, kind of take advantage of some of that good bass fishing and water temp stuff down that way as well. So that's kind of what we had going on this week. You know, I've got the sun fun out on three-quarter day all this week, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking at, uh, that hard bottom over, you know, that red crab again out in that 40 to 60 fathom range. Let's we'll see if we can find some game fish in that this week on the three-quarter day stuff as well. Kind of makes in some sculpting fishing too. So if you guys want to get out on a trip with us, please, you know, give the landing a call. Make a reservation. We'd love to have you with us. And, again, take advantage of the uh, Let's Talk Cookup discount. You can click right on our Dana Wharf banner ad right on the uh, front page there of the Let's Talk Cookup website. It'll give you the code. You can get on over and book and save 25% on one of these local trips. So, Take advantage of that. You can check us out on our website, of course, at danawharf.com. And the phone number to call the office there to make your reservation uh, would be 949-496-5794. Awesome, Willie. Great report. As always, sounds like some good fishing to be had. Nice little stretch of weather coming up. I bet those yellows will be snapping on the three-quarter day, man. Appreciate a great report. We look forward to talking to you next week. 
All right, guys. Take care. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Willie. Appreciate that very much. We'll be waiting for Gundy Gunnison. He's probably busily writing uh, another story for Western After News on the long range uh, circuit there. And we'll uh, hopefully hear from Gundy here in the near future. But if you want to get through, it's been a busy morning talking to the Cat My Guys here. 877 792 1090 open right now. You have a chance to win one of two packages we're giving away today a pair of tickets to the Long Beach Fred Hall Show coming up um, March 3rd. Third through the sixth at the at the Long Beach Convention Center, and a half day fishing for two aboard the Daily Double. And Fred and the gang going to take you out and put you put a rod in your hand if you need a uh, fishing tackle. They're going to give that to you to use for the day for free, and and uh, that's going to be a great package for for two. Go yeah. fishing and see the ultimate show up at the Long Beach Convention Center. There's some good local fishing going on right now. I mean, the half day fishing has has really oh, yeah. gotten good <clears throat> here in the last uh, last week or so. so and then watch good. out. Rockfish season opens um, right March 1st. You got it. Yeah, so you'll be able to go out there and uh, be one of the first to go out rockfish fishing. So 877-792-1090 open right now. All right, well, let's continue on with our catch board. Talk to the man, our surf guru, Gundy Gunderson, is on the line. Gur- Gundy, what's going on in the surf? Did you say good local fishing, Rock on? It's always good, brother. Yeah, the surf is local enough. And <laughs> I tell you what. You know, we've had that sharp, it's kind of a sharp northwest swell, so a lot of the bite this week was kind of predicated on that. The more northern beaches from Long Beach up had some really terrific action. The swell was still a problem on the more southern beaches that were getting that swell. Excellent week of fishing. Water temps have been hovering around 60 degrees with this week of unseasonably warm weather. The fishing really picked up. The better fishing, like I said, was from Long Beach north. Uh, more protected from that swell. Starting up there in Santa Barbara, Hook, Line, and Sinker reported terrific fishing for calico bass. Lots of fish have moved in tight to the surf line. The rocky stretches off Goleta, Campus Point, graveyards, all holding fish. Big hammer swim baits with some, some red in it was the key. Colors like red rum, bleeding trout, the Grinch. I love those names. Uh, Santa Barbara Sport Fishing Club had a derby. 54 calico bass were caught and released out of the surf from the surf fishing club there. It's just a terrific bite. Another hot bite was along the South Bay beaches. Just fishing reported nicer grade halibut moved in on the beach there. A 6-pounder, a 13-pounder, a 14-pounder were reported in the shop this week and a slew of shorts. Uh, Torrance, Redondo, Manhattan. Uh, two of the fish on swim baits, one on a flash minnow, and one the guy uh, who caught the fish on the flash minnow also had a pound and a half perch so that's a good sign, some of that better quality perch. Finally, Big Fish reported good action off Surfside there, and that's been a beach that's really been jugged with bait for the last several weeks. One angler reported wide open bite, two to three pound yellowfin croaker taken on crocodiles, cast under the birds. Another angler reported soaking mussel and, and uh, shrimp off the same beach and landing a dozen of those chunky croakers. And get this, five corvina, two to two and a half corvina. pound range. They, the, the guy brought in the photo in the shop, uh, and there's also some short halibut in there. You know, it's a protected beach, Pete, a little bit warmer water temperature, and heck, man, Just more warm weather, and we're going to start looking like spring. February Corvina looking fishing like will take spring. that. It's 61 <laughs> degrees in a lot of spots, so, yeah, I, it's spring. It is. It's uh, it's an interesting thing, you know. So we'll just, uh, you know, we won't ask questions. We'll yeah. just go along with it, we'll right? We'll catch some fish. <laughs> say the fish don't have a calendar. They just know they know temperature and they know food. And if those two it things is. are right, that's it's on. Exactly. That's exactly it. It's all about conditions. Fantastic. All right, Gundy, great job. Great article this week in Western Outdoor News. And uh, keep up the good work, and we'll talk to you next Sunday. All right, gentlemen. Terrific show. All right. Thanks Gundy. a lot for the call this morning. All right. Let's go ahead and jump back into those jam-packed phone lines. You got Rick. it. Well, with that, it's going to wrap up our catch report again, sponsored by Dana Landing on Mission Bay. Check them out at the Fred Hall Long Beach Show because they have four factory booths in one. They have Maui Jim with over 300 pairs of Maui Jim sunglasses, plus 100 of the custom My Maui styles. And they have an optician who is going to be able to help you with prescriptions for Maui Jim. Right there. You yeah, it's really the, cool. Uh, optician to do the analysis and order a pair of custom Maui Jim. And, and, and you can maybe touch on what My Maui is real quick because these are the perfect guys to offer it. So Steve and the guys at Dana really, really know those glasses. I'll, I'll bet the best, if not certainly one of the best selections of Maui Jims anywhere that I've seen, including all the you know sunglass type shops and things like that. 
And with my Maui, basically with Maui gyms, you can get them in selected pairs. You know, this frame comes with this lens and this style, but they offer a lot of cool, custom-y things. Like, I know you like the Marlin frame and the Dorado frame. They're, like, different colored frames, but they might not normally be available in a gray lens or an HT lens or an HCL lens. So with my Maui, you can basically custom get the right frame and the right color that is popular. And Steve and those guys will just order a bunch of them and then put them into stock. Yeah. So you can and walk with right readers, in. too. They'll have several readers, too. So the Ma- Maui Gym readers are pretty awesome. Yeah, it's going to be a, need, need readers in your sunglasses. an awesome display. They've also got a big selection of Fishworks clothing and Olakai. They're going to have the largest selection ever at the Fred Hall Show Dana Landing booth. Grendon's is also going to be there with all their hardcore wow. foul weather gear. It's the Dana Landing booth. They're going to have it all, everything you need for the saltwater guy to be ready to Go Fish. going to be a great booth. All right. All right. Well, let's jump right back into those phones. They are packed up. Let's talk to Dave, who's calling us from Sorrento Mesa this morning. Dave, good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Dave. Hey, before I ask my, cat, uh, my question about Cat by Lodge, I am down here at the uh, dock and watched the Independence just came in this morning. We were talking about Rosie earlier and her getting ready for the show. I'm watching Rosie right now busting <laughs> her tail on some monster, monster yellowfin. Wow, that's cool. that quite a trip we heard from Jeff yesterday. Wow. It sounded like that's cool. Great. Okay, so back to my question. Uh, you know, the price sounds great, and it sounds like so much fun. What's not included? Good question. Sure. Um, tips. And that's and, and that's, and that's <laughs> about it. Struggle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. yeah. So so the bar is open. Absolutely. There's. Uh, um, you have to bring your own. No, no. Absolutely. We the, the beer and wine are are included in the price. What? Yes. Yeah. That's the beer and the new. wine, as much as you guys can drink, and then we have a, a regular full bar. We just we put it in last year, uh-huh. and uh, we have an honor bar, and we uh, usually charge. I believe it's uh, three to five dollars a drink, and you pour your own drink. Okay. So uh, and then you just put a little check mark next to your name, and at the end of the trip, we'll uh, we'll settle the tab. That's yeah. so cool. And then also your your flight. From Anchorage to a King, if you get to King Salmon, like I said, you get it's to King a, it's Salmon. All part, it's, it's a, you will come pick you up in the honor. Yeah. If you're in Anchorage, then you'll need to pl- pay the flight either That's to flight. King it's, Salmon or the charter flight into the correct. lodge. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then, and then also, if you want to fly out, those th- those are extra. You don't yeah. have to fly out. You're you on do not the have to fly out. Right, but we, right. we offer a fly out uh, if you prepay it. It's four fifty. If you get it at the lodge, it's five fifty, and we'll take you onto the one of the rivers with your guide, take you to Brooks Falls, depending on what where you guys want to go on your fly out. Yeah, go see the smokes, the ten thousand smokes. So yeah. rad. And, and go catch giant trout That's up correct. in wilderness areas and stuff like that. So yeah, it's for, like I told you for a remote Alaska fly-in style lodge in Bristol Bay. There's nothing that even comes close for twice the price, really. Yeah, and you know, and you, and you have your guide all day. If if you want to fish for a couple hours in the morning, come back, take a nap, and then go fish in the afternoon, you can do that. And you, and you arrange that with your guide. If you just want to fish in the afternoon, you can do that, too. Or you, you have want... your own guide, your own boat. Yeah, you wake up in the morning, you go to a restaurant. We have one of our chefs. we got four chefs there. They'll cook you breakfast just like at a hotel, omelet bar, whatever you want to eat. We have everything out there. Now, for lunchtime, you'll go with your guide. He'll prepare your lunch for you, or you'll just grab a, a fish. One of your salmon that you just caught, whack it on the head, no way. fillet it up, and then we have barbecues and all the. You boats. cook your hot lunch on the river. Yes, on that's, the river. Awesome. that's awesome. Wow, that's awesome. That's pretty neat. Jeff, uh, what what kind of cu- cuisine are you cooking on the river? Well, you know, the majority of the lunches we cook is salmon. You know, salmon that we caught, just just as long as it takes for you to catch it and you to clean it and put it on the grill. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, but you know, not everybody likes that every day, so we do all kinds of stuff. We do burgers. We do hot dogs. Actually, hot dogs is our biggest deal up there if it's not fish. We've got great big, like, country club style hot dogs, you know, burgers, chicken. You know, and, and another thing, too, is, like, if anybody comes up and has any dietary needs or whatever, uh, it, you know, it's no problem with us. Our facility is big enough, and we and we have planes coming from Anchorage so often, like, if somebody has a peanut allergy or something like that, you know, it's handled. It's, it's no big deal. And then it, it, and getting back to the shore lunches, we can cook about anything out on the river. A lot of times we cook a lot of leftovers, you know, and that's a big deal. You know, like the barbecue chicken night and the barbecue ribs night, having them hot the next day on the river and pretty much anything lunch-wise, you know, and it's a big spread. I mean, a lot of times we, we feed them hard enough that, that they're not so sure they're ready for dinner. <laughs> time, you know? That's so cool. So, Tell them a little about our dinners, too. It's your own fault, yeah. you know. 
Jeff, yeah. tell them about our dinners, too, that we have when, once you get back. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's unreal, you know. I mean, it, you know, like I said, if you go away hungry, it's your own fault. I mean, it's prime rib <laughs> steak. You know, we have a we have kind of a Thanksgiving feed. Um, it's just it's it's really nice high end home cooking with with a, with a lot of that Alaska flair. It, it's really cool. I mean, and and all different stuff. I mean, our chef up there, Sean, he's he's amazing. He's cooking stuff I've never heard of, and 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 that's that, and it all tastes. You know, normally years back you'd go up there as a guide and you'd lose twenty pounds with the food they're cooking. Now you're putting twenty on. You got to watch it. So. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Jeff, you've been there for how many years? I started in 96 up there. Wow. And now this food, this new chefs, and the way that uh, you're feeding people up there sounds a little different than the last time I was up there. Yeah, my guess would be it's less, uh, it's not as much of the steam table style eating, you know, buffet style. There is some of that, but there's a lot of that cook to order. You know, uh, you know, we got the big grill out, and we're always grilling and, and doing all kinds of, you know, different stuff. And, and you know, even and if you come back and you want to have salmon for dinner, they'll cook it to order for you. You know, we always have salmon available. It, it, it's it's great. Sounds great. So cool. Big upgrades. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a whole other hour coming your way. Lots of your phone calls, lots of great information. If you want to get through, this is a great time. It's been a very busy morning. 858-457-1090. It's open right now. More Let's Talk Cook Up coming your way on the Mighty 1090. Business on the bank. Information is the key to success, and inside information is even better. When it comes to fishing, inside information is critical, and that's what FishDope.com delivers. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and save fuel. FishDope.com is the only SST service with a satellite oceanographic PhD on board, the only fish-finding service with a spotter plane. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com boasts the largest largest code group anywhere, covering sport boats, commercial boats, and private boaters. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. What I'm telling you is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, good luck. Membership costs less than 40 gallons of gas for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, stay tuned for the special code to save $20 on a Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. What a tuna and yellowtail season last year. Many say the best in 30 years. Could this season be even better? Don't be caught without the right gear. Now is the time to stock up on the trolling lure that proved to be the best. X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala. Every X-Wrap Magnum runs perfect right out of the box. They all have extreme action and a controlled deep diving aggressive swimming motion. The large diving lip partners with premium VMC hooks and an irresistible rattle. The X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala can be trolled at high speeds with Without rolling or kicking out at depths to 15 feet. Bottom line, the x wrap Magnum is the ultimate trolling lure for Southern California and Baja saltwater fishing. With a textured translucent body, internal holographic foil, and 3D holographic eye, x wrap Magnums are irresistible to saltwater game fish. Available in a variety of colors and sizes. No matter what you choose, the fish can't resist x wrap Magnum by Rapala. Ask your local tackle dealer which is the hottest color and size and start catching more fish. See the entire line at Rapala.com. SFRF 1090 AM, Rosarito, Baja California. You are listening to the home of the Aztecs. Quick back slam dunk. That's what I'm talking about. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090.
Start 2016 strong with Yamaha's legendary reliability sales event. From January 1st through March 31st, purchase an eligible new Yamaha four-stroke outboard and choose either two free years of limited warranty coverage or up to $1,500 in dealer credit. Yes, that's up to $1,500 in dealer credit towards the purchase of goods or services from your authorized participating Yamaha outboards dealer or two additional years of Yamaha extended service on top of your three-year four-stroke factory limited warranty for no extra cost. That's a total of five years of warranty coverage and an MSRP value of up to $23,000. That's right. Eligible new 2.5 to 300 horsepower four strokes include a choice of two free years of Yamaha extended service or up to $1,500 in dealer credit, but only during Yamaha's legendary reliability sales event. Reliability starts here. Yamaha. Visit your nearest Yamaha outboards dealer today. Offer ends March 31st 2016. Subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. See authorized participating Yamaha Outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Hi, I'm Bart Hall, and I'm back to tell you about the Fred Hall Show, March 2nd to the 6th at the Long Beach Convention Center. Who could have known that when my father started his first show in Los Angeles in 1946, that it would turn into the world's largest and most exciting sport fishing show, one of the nation's most prominent boat shows, and a world-class international travel and hunting show? We are proud of the fact that when you attend a Fred Hall Show, we will entertain you all day with nearly a 1,000 booths, over 400 seminars, hundreds of boats, and dozens of family fun activities. And when it's all over, you want to come back the next day to see what you missed. We invite you to come join us and share in the 70-year legacy of the Fred Hall Shows as we celebrate the passion of fishing, boating, hunting, and the pure joy of outdoor recreation. Kids free, kids fish free, active military free. Join the Coastal Conservation Association of California and get in free. Check us out at fredhall.com. The Fred Hall Show, March 2nd to the 6th at the Long Beach Convention Center, presented by Progressive. It was another awesome year for fishing in San Diego, and it seems to still be going strong. I've talked to people that continue to get into tuna and yellowtail offshore. It was another awesome year for Ford, too. Once again, Ford is America's favorite brand. Just take a look at last year's sales figures. It's right there in black and white. If the car you're driving is six, seven, eight years old, it's really time to get into something new because the technology in these new Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs is nothing short of impressive. You wouldn't want a cell phone with 8-year-old technology, would you? So why keep driving a car with old technology? Now's the time to stop by your San Diego County Ford dealer and check out the latest innovations and designs, like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on your new F-150. You just turn a little knob on the dash, and it steers your trailer exactly where you want it to go. Trust me, backing in your boat will never be easier. Learn more at SanDiegoCountyFord.com or just stop by 